What's going on everyone? It's your boy Antonio and we are back with another audiobook review. So today we're going to be reviewing The King of Plagues by Jonathan Mayberry, book three of the Joe Ledger series. I've got to say guys, this was uh, miles ahead of The Dragon Factory and Patient Zero. I, th I think we're now like really establishing Joe Ledger and the DMS. Of course, we got a uh, we got a secret society called the King of Plagues that features seven kings and a goddess who's not really a fucking goddess. She just thinks he's a goddess. But um, we got the King of Plagues. They are a secret society. It features the King of Fear, the King of Famine, the King of Gold, the King of War, the King of Plagues the King of Lies, and the King of Thieves. They want to fuck up Joe Ledger and the DMS. They want to sabotage the president. Set the president uh, is going through surgery, so the vice president has to be the acting president, and a whole bunch of shit goes down. Um, they are responsible the King of Plagues, they're a secret society, and they are responsible for the flu, for the 2008 market crash, for 9-11. They are responsible for a whole bunch of stuff, and they want to continue to do what they do best, and that's fuck shit up. Um, they, they're trying to make their own weaponized version of the 10 Plagues of Egypt. And also, each of them, each king has their own agenda. Like, you know, King of Plagues or Plagues, Famine, Famine. Yeah. And uh, they are led by... Uh, they are led by the goddess who they worship. And they got people everywhere. Basically, they coerce you into doing something harmful and they uh if you don't do it your family dies they're gonna make you they're gonna coerce you to do like the most evil thing ever or else your family dies they are a bunch of baddie laddies joe ledger and his team's gotta take them down and it has been a dog fight in there there was a moment I thought Joe Ledger was going to die. But then again, he can't die because he's got a whole bunch of fucking books. So I know he's not going to die. Maybe he will, then he'll be bought back. I don't know. But uh, I enjoyed the hell out of the book. Like I said, better than Patient Zero. Definitely better than Dragon Factory. I enjoyed the hell out of it. Of course, Ray Porter narrating. He's doing an awesome job with voice work I was interested throughout the audiobook like I was on the edge of my seat because of all the crap that's been going down and and y you know what the uh, they they got the king of plagues they got members all over whether it be city workers or it'll be people within the government, like they got their hands in everything. They want to control it all. But you know what, guys? I, I enjoyed the book. I thought it was great. I'm getting, giving this a 4.5 rating on my scale out of 5. I enjoyed it. I definitely recommend it. Like I said, if you you haven't read the Joe... If you haven't read the uh, Joel Ledger series, but you are familiar with Jonathan Mayberry's book, you need to start reading it. I promise you, you will not regret it, especially if you're into zombies, you're into unicorns. Yes, unicorns really did happen in the Dragon Factory, um, what, among other things. Uh, zombies, uh, military, that type of stuff. You will definitely enjoy these. Um... Like I said, Ray Porter did an awesome job. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed his voice work. 
kept me at the edge of my seat and I cannot wait to listen to the sequel or read it, whichever comes first. I still got a couple more weeks on Night Shift, so yes. I don't know how far I'll get with the uh, audiobooks, but um, I'm, I'm going to see if I can continue the, the Joe Ledger series. I think the next one, book number four, I think is called Assassin's Code. I don't know for don't know for sure. So um, yeah, guys, I hope you guys are having a great day. Oh wait, update on my reading. So I'm on page uh, with Dark Run by Mike Brooks. I'm on page 133, and we're on March 11th. I should be on uh, page 100 right now, going to 110. I am way ahead right now. I am enjoying the hell out of the book. I'm reading it by chapters instead of 10 pages. That's what, what I've been doing. I'm so far ahead right now and I'm proud of myself. And I can't wait to discuss the book with everyone. But I'll catch you guys later. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. Hope you guys are having a fabulous Sunday. It is fucking sunny right now. As you can see, not really fail. All right. But you probably seen in my last video when I was outside. I was going to do this review outside, but um, it was, it's kind of windy outside and my uh, tripod is kind of flimsy. I don't trust it. So, yeah. But I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.